got to put everything Jeez, on there. It's a big business. Big business. Standing on it all year. That's <laughs> sneaking and geeking and lying and trying. You know, no shade to you, baby daddy, but you know what you was doing. These folks upstairs finna piss me off. So, yeah, digging in some grits, baby. So, yeah. I don't care. This just got. Not you got fired on bereavement. You got fired on my day off. <laughs> uh, they did me dirty, but it's all right. I don't even got me a hundred pieces. I'm still gonna make me a hundred M's with a hundred plans. Give me that so extend up. I carry just like a prego. We don't run with nigga called Pedro. Suck it, nigga. Shoulda knew it from the get go. What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Life with Lexis. Drum roll, please. Yeah, it's me. It's your girl. And this weekend is going to be full of festivities. I'm not going to tell y'all what I got going on because I feel like every time I tell y'all what I got going on, the complete opposite happens. So, I'm just going to show y'all what's going on. So, right now, I'm in my nail tech house, aka my sister. She finna do me some press-ons. Fresh tips, of course. Y'all know the girls love tips. And then I'm going to go get my toes done. And I'm going to figure out what I'm doing with this fro. Because I don't know what is planned for me tonight. But I know the outfits that I got, regardless of what the situation is, it's not going to go with the fro. I need to be given elegance. I need to be given grown and sexy, okay? So, yeah. I'm going to get these nails done. I'll introduce y'all to my sister when she come downstairs. Y'all already know her. She's the famous escort. Go and follow her. And yeah, y'all, that's what I got going on right now. So I'll see y'all later. What? Comment section. Talk about me. <laughs> Don't do that now. All right, y'all. We finna do her nails. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are your what are ingredients it? Ingredients? Yeah. Gonna give me some little French tips because I got a little, little some, some going on today. Don't know what it is. Not prepared. <sighs> y'all, my life is real ghetto. I wish I could tell y'all what's going on for real, <laughs> but I can't. I can't. Maybe one day, just not today. Because okay. it is ghetto. What my file is? Right here. I got one right here. Girl, I don't like that little <laughs> shit. I need these. Big boy. Mm. I'm finna cut them nails. Girl, I barely got some. Y'all sure. You ain't my do shop. Do y'all, do y'all, first of all, when y'all come to the shop, do y'all, don't y'all nail shop already be prepared. Y'all <laughs> nail tech. I had to size out my own fingers. <laughs> size out everything. This is ghetto. I got to report her to the state board, baby. First of all, I'm not even getting paid, number one. Yeah. I can see if you were paying me, I'd be a little more prepared. Uh -huh. And first of all, you were supposed to be in here. She late for her appointment. Good. So you gotta do your stuff yourself. I had to sit outside the door 20 minutes just to get in the shop. <laughs> so that tagged on a little bit more of my time. You know the dope code. I forgot. Bruh, I've been sitting here almost. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Doggone hard finger nail finna take me up out of there. God, leave. Hopefully my nails last this time since I ain't working at that restaurant no more. Cause when I tell you the first thing I got to do, it was over with. You got five. God told you them folks. I went on that app and it said join a new team. After I came back from uh, my confederate. Girl, they didn't even tell you you Girl, got five. Girl, they didn't even tell me. Didn't Still had me in a group chat and everything. You and asked? I told J-Mo I was back and I was coming back to work that week and he didn't say nothing. But baby, I don't care. That's just God. Not baby. you got fired on bereavement. Got fired on my day off. <laughs> Girl, they did me dirty, but it's all right. God just moving all the stuff that ain't aligned with my path, so I ain't need that. I never said somebody get fired on bereavement. Yeah, I know. That's dirty. <laughs> That's okay, cause I blocked all of you from my Instagram, from my phone, everything. I, I ain't going back, baby. I go to Esco before I go back to food with them. Girl, you got manly. Your hand like Kaylin. These are not ladies. I've been doing hard work. These are not lady fingers. <laughs> you get that look up. Yeah, I need to be done doing nails. 
About one o'clock. And they so did you find something? In your closet? That picture I sent you. That oh, necklace. Okay. Cause I was I was really overthinking it because we finna go to a little arts and craft thing. Yeah. And we wanna be comfortable. And then we're going to the movie. Now if yeah. it was our dinner, yeah. then I would have been. Yeah. I was stretched out for two hours and then have to be. Girl, you call me at 9 a.m. <laughs> it's 12 and you just now find the outfit. That's re, re damn ridiculous. Now fashion over. F to over. Nah, for real. <laughs> Fashion over, F to over. But I'm trying to see, um, because you know I saw be going to Tulum, and they said pink might be one of the colors. Mm -hmm. What you think if I wear that dress? Yeah, I say just keep it, because eventually you're going to wear that stuff. Maybe not the leather dress. Well, I didn't buy um, the leather dress I bought off Amazon for uh, tomorrow. Since my other one didn't come. Yeah, I would just keep the stuff, because I don't even know if I'm wearing my Valentine's Day stuff that I uh, bought, but guess what? Them fits getting warm for my birthday, whatever I do. Cause baby, I got so many trips. I need to start buying clothes next. Mm -hmm, me too. Well, I ain't got no trips, but I do need some clothes. I got some whatever tea, wherever he decides to go for his birthday. I thought he told you not to plan no trips. He said, yeah, this one's gonna be small. He was talking yeah, about San Diego, but San Diego, um, uh, that he's flooding a couple weeks ago. And then I looked at that hotel, they dirty. Yeah, I got a yeah, and then I got a and then my birthday card and what's wrong? Y'all got a hallway and I need another day. <laughs> that is crazy to me. This is a surprise. Alright y'all, she done got me together, she about to put on my gel polish, and I'm about to sit up under the thing, and we got the whole little nail shop going on, okay? And I still ain't getting no money. Girl, you getting love, unconditional love, girl. Sometimes love ain't enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, she about to polish you up. Mm -hmm. Tennessee life clearly, clearly. February is a time that you put the evil eye and the pride aside for the fantasy of getting very, very scary. March got you already second guessing titles. April, spring is here just like a spring start to spiral. May bring some warmer days, poolside getting very tan. Drawn how you move out ice cold, going back and forth with a merry man. July, that's when I found out July. August, it was baby, get baby, that like yeah, your tools tied. September, we falling off, but I'm still the main trying to win over. October is all about me, cause no time should have been over. November, got your mood board, and for next year, and you're single. December, the gift giving month, and now you want to get a candle. Trust you me a D, and that's how they tryna bag you. Ironic how the news I got about you ended up being bad news. Get a nigga hit for 50 racks, girl, the beef calls like it's wagon. Get a nigga hit, I make his ass see the light like a half moon. Shot the QC, pretty sure I made P hands like it's past moon. All I really know is W's and M's, life looking like a bathroom. All I really know is damn bags like I drove through and ordered fast food. Saying I'm too bought it with my feelings, who the fuck even asked you? Seven bodyguards just in case somebody really wanna try and crash through. Don't know why I listen to you when I hear you talking to me and some half truth. If I don't pay your rent and end up like a old ass, then I'm gonna pass through. I'm fine. I got some parts, I got
Um, my sister lives up the street. I'm staying in North Richmond Hills. Oh, mm -hmm. you come here to see your sister? Yeah, she just finished uh, doing me some press on nails, so oh. came to get my feet done to yeah. match. Yeah. Okay, y'all. Eyebrows are done. She did okay. I feel like she kind of plucked a little plug in my eyebrows a little bit, but whatever. Ain't nothing I can't fill in. But she also got some wax in my hair over here and she was trying to play it off and she was trying to get it out and didn't even say, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I got wax in your hair. But whatever, I'm going to get her some grace because my hair all over my head anyway. But that still don't mean I want glue in there, wax, whatever, whatever. I don't want wax in my hair. So now I'm about to go home and actually figure out what I'm doing because it's getting on my nerves that I don't know what I'm doing because I don't know what to wear. It's cold as hell outside. Um, I don't know if I need to dress up. I don't know if I need to dress casual. I don't know any of these things. Don't know what I'm going to do to my hair. I'm thinking about just putting some more rods in it and just getting it a little bit more defined because it really don't look bad right now. It just look crazy because the wind is steady blowing my hair all over my head. But regardless of what hairstyle I get, unless it's like a ponytail or something, the wind is going to blow my hair all over my head. So, let me figure that out and I'll food with y'all. I need to go home and put my camera on the charger so I can have some stuff for the day. So, yeah. All right. But today, I've just been, I worked a half a day. I went to the gym. I did my workout. Um, and now Kaylon has practice at 6.30 or <clears throat> well, at 6. So it's currently 4.38 and I am actually about to go ahead and put some makeup on because I'm about to, tonight I'm meeting with my friend and we're going to go listen to some live music, eat good food, might have a drink, maybe not trying to really do too much because I'm still on my plan. But like I've been going real hard on this plan and really sticking to it. And I feel like I deserve a night out. I definitely do. So that's what's going on tonight. So I'm going to do my makeup and I'm going to get ready. And while I'm doing so, I have a little story time for y'all, baby. Because your girl almost got scammed. So let me go get a product and i'm gonna be right back and i'm gonna tell y'all right on back so y'all remember a couple vlogs ago or maybe a vlog ago i told y'all i met this sweet girl at the gym not gonna disclose her name hopefully i already haven't in the previous vlog but whatever met this sweet girl at the gym she was really interested in my what i was doing as far as my online fitness plan she was interested in just all the business ventures I had going on. And of course, I told her, you know, I used to have a mentor, but sadly, my mentor passed away. And, you know, I've just been out here thugging it out and trying to make things work on my own. So, baby, that was the gateway to everything that I've experienced so far. So, basically, she's been inviting me to these real, these real upper class meetings and and introducing me to her mentors and their mentors and just selling me this business plan and baby i was definitely buying it because y'all know um well y'all don't know but she was telling me how she sells these products she sells vitamins she sells energy drinks she sells all these type of fitness things that i'm interested in and that she thought I would be a good fit for the team. So she introduced me to their mentors. We went to their house, met their kids. Everybody, everything was everything. I ain't gonna lie. It sounded good. So I've been going to the meetings for a few weeks now. And each meeting that I go to, I'm doing this all wrong. Each meeting that I go to is a different per person speaking and discussing the business plan, which is cool. Is very inspiring they're very passionate about what they do and they want they claim that they want to share the wealth with us cool so on my second meeting with the mentors I'm asking about pricing monthly membership this this that and the third so he kind of did not want to go into details with me yet and I could sense that because he didn't 
Um, and he told me that it'll be something that's discussed at a later date. So boom, at one of the meetings, one of our main sponsors, one of the higher ups, tells us that you know they they're rolling out a new program where they're investing into new IBOs, independent business owners, and our first twelve to sixteen months are going to be on them. Like we're not we're not going to have to pay for conferences. We're not going to have to pay for info sessions. We're not going to have to pay for this. We're not going to have to pay for that. So boom, sounds good. So basically, y'all investing in, in this business. Y'all got this program called the Leadership Development Team. This is how they disguised it. They never told me the real, real name of the company, or maybe I just didn't. Maybe I just didn't understand it. So, boom, he tells us first year free, first year on them. And after my first year, then my business should basically be paying for itself. So cool, I'm, I'm all in, I'm going to all these meetings, I'm meeting all these high up people and baby, I am sold. So then, after a couple meetings, after a couple conversations, I'm motivated, I'm ready to get started. You know, it's time to launch my online store. So the day of me launching my online store is when they finally wanted to, to give me the breakdown calls what it would be monthly so since my stuff is free for the first year a lot of it really didn't apply to me but he gave me how it would look if it wasn't free so basically i would be paying a 90 dollars subscription to even be a part of the team i would have to pay for audios i would have to pay for all of the conferences which the conferences are like 120 something or more dollars each conference each info session every week is like five to ten dollars like and if you invite somebody you got to pay for them as well so you got to invest in them too so yeah um boom so subscription is 99 conferences are 100 to 180 and here's the kicker y'all so as i'm launching my website launching my business so the, the other little things, I was like, okay, that's something I can manage. That's something I can do. That's something I can budget for. Boom. The catch. So they tell you, oh, the one of the requirements each month is you have to have 300 PV. So I'm like, okay, don't sound too bad. That's something I could probably do. So 150 of that PV comes from you buying from your own store. And then another 150 PV come from day one ditto, which is basically you have to find someone to set up on a on a subscription that their items automatically are set up in the car each month and they set their payments up and it automatically goes the, the shipment automatically goes to their house. So not only do I have to do this, but I have to find somebody else to set up on the day one ditto as well. Cool. Don't sound too bad. Y'all, why I get to setting up my day one ditto cart and I get to 150 points and I got almost $400 worth of merchandise in my cart. So at this point, I'm like, okay, so you telling me I have to spend $400 of my own money per month? on this website just to be a part of this group like I came to make money not like of course we know you gotta spend money to make money but come on now this is something that should have been discussed before literally the day y'all so called want to lunch and invest in my business like come on so I tell them well I did not expect to be paying $400 setting up this website today. So, you know, how about we revisit this? Like, let me get my coins together and I'll place my order next week. Boom. So, that's that. Gotta pay $400 just to even have your day one ditto set up. And gotta find somebody else to even agree to that bullcrap as well. So, that's heavily on my mind while I'm setting up 
all this stuff in this cart that I really don't freaking need, but they're encouraging me to get these things so I can try the product. So when it's time for me to sell, I'll, you know, actually be experienced with the products and, you know, I'll know what they're about. Cool, whatever, makes sense. So I'm still with it, still with it, still with it. And somehow my mom seen my website. Well, I sent them my website, but I guess she didn't know that the the stuff that I was doing was through Amway. <clears throat> so when she when she asked me, she was like, "Oh, this is through Amway," and I'm like, "Yeah." Um, she was like, oh, "Okay, your grandma and your uncle used to work through them, but eventually you gonna have to start bringing people in." to work under you just to make some money so of course i'm thinking okay whatever i'm not about to let nobody deter me from doing what i want to do when it comes to making some money so i didn't think nothing of it i'm just like okay whatever i'm still going to do it anything's better than working for bank of america so you know she still encouraged my decision she ain't trying to talk me out of it or none of that good old stuff parents like to do so, but when she said that, it definitely put something on my mind. Like, I'm like, okay, hold on. My mom ain't gonna never tell me nothing wrong when it comes to about some money and some business. So, she, I reached out to my grandma, and my grandma basically said the same thing. Her first, her first thing was, look, I'm not gonna try to deter your decision. I'm gonna let you do what you wanna do. But look, me and your granddaddy, we tried this thing out for a year. We went to all the meetings. We invested all this money. We was up and down the road, paying for hotels, paying for conferences, and we ain't make a dime. So, I'm I'm already having all these other thoughts about them wanting me to spend three hundred plus per month in the beginning of the month after rent is due or before rent is due. The math is just not math. So after my grandma gave me that confirmation, I'm just like, okay, I don't know. This might not be the best decision for me because I'm in the business to make money. Of course, again, I'm going to say this. I know it takes money to make money, but how is this large amount of money being taken out of my household going to help me right now? I understand y'all y'all so-called got this leadership development group. You know, you want to help us with our business. You want to do this. You want to do that. But at the end of the day, y'all, honestly, oh, let me not forget one important part. So after talking to my grandma, well, before I even talked to my grandma, I had did a little research online on YouTube and I found this lady who has a whole YouTube series on Amway. And she's like just interviewing different people who's actually worked for Amway. Y'all, why one of the ladies said that she worked for Amway for a year and like eight months. Y'all this lady said she lost eighteen thousand dollars going up and down the highway to meetings and conferences and this and that in a year and eight months she lost eighteen grand. That is ridiculous. She said she endured public humiliation, belittling, all type of stuff, love bombing, like all type of stuff. And this ain't just one lady. This is multiple people that this lady on her series is interviewing and saying about this company. And that's exactly what they do. They try to start general conversation, conversation with you, act like they care about what you got going on. But the whole time, it's really just a pyramid scheme to get you get you in the business and get other people under you so that the person at the top, you know, is making all the money. That's, that's what it is. So, I'm glad I did my research. I'm glad I um, actually talked to my grandma and got her perspective because she's somebody who actually experienced it and went through it and spent the money. You know, she paved the way for the mistakes that I didn't have to make. So what I'm going to do is, y'all, I am going to 
kindly tell my sponsor that thank you for the opportunity, but no thank you because I'm going through enough already trying to, um, baby, just trying to make it out here and I don't need money taken from my household and putting it in someone else's pocket when, you know, I have my online fitness business that I'm trying to, trying to run. And if anything, I'm going to spend that money getting product and putting it into my own business. Because if I'm buying y'all product, I don't have any money left over to invest in my own. So make it make sense. So, yeah, y'all, I almost got scammed. It sounded really good. They were pumping my head up about how um, I'll be financially free. I can quit my job. I can have another source of income. How um, I can have more time to spend with my kids, not be so worried about money and this and that. And it sounded real good, y'all. It sounded good. I ain't gonna lie. It sounded real, real, real good. But baby, mm -mm. I'm scraped. So yeah, that y'all, that's my story time on how I always got I almost got scammed by Amway, but did my research, talked to a few reliable sources, and won't be doing that. I'm just gonna continue working on my business. I'm about to start getting more products and you know really investing what I want to do. So yeah, y'all. I dodged a major bullet, saved a lot of time, didn't invest no money. I just I did invest some time though. I ain't gonna lie. I invested a lot of time. Just within them them two week or whatever weeks I was doing it for, but it's cool. Um but yeah, y'all, that's my story time. I am about to get off this camera and finish my makeup because as long as I'm on here running my mouth and talking to y'all, I feel like I'm going to go slow. So I am going to show y'all once I'm done, show y'all my outfit, show y'all what I'm wearing, and get this little boy to practice. I need to be done by 5.30. It's 5.54. I just got to blend my concealer, make a uh, powder. The lashes on not doing too much so i'll be back all right y'all so of course i am always rushing so please oh y'all let me get y'all out of my closet because it's a fool but i'm always rushing but here's the fit Kayla! got this bodysuit from my friend deja boutique it's called sim online make sure y'all go shop with her so I took my hair down. It's nice, cute, and fluffy. The makeup is giving. I gotta put my lip on. And then, baby, I'm out the door. Kayla! <sighs> this little boy ain't answering me. It's gonna piss me off. But. I'm gonna get in the mirror and give y'all a whole little fit check. I don't know why I always over overline my lips. Well, oh well. It'll be fine. So, yeah, y'all. Booty sitting. I think I'm just keep my Gucci purse because all these can't fit in here. But yeah, y'all, I'll be back with a full view. All right, y'all, here are the outfit details. Go, go boots. These are my favorite boots. Y'all gonna see this a lot, and no, I don't care. Jumpsuit. Yeah, digging in some grits, baby. So yeah. Mm, look good.
All right, y'all, so we finally leaving the house. Kaylon thought he was gonna skip practice, but had to go wake him up. Bull was in there, not out. Do you hear me? And he did not plan on getting up. I had to threaten to beat him before he got up. But y'all, I'm so cute. I love when I rock my natural hair, baby. When I get out here in the wind, it's gonna go every which way. But I love when I rock my natural hair. It just gives, I don't know. Girl, it's sexy. That's what it gives. That's exactly what it gives, boo. Mm. Mm. But yeah, I'm going to dinner with my friends. Gonna dinner. Now I'll talk to y'all later.
got it so much food that we can't even finish all this shit. Like, look, this is how I feel. We got a whole cook now. All these sandwiches fire. fire. Everything was fire. But I love it. It was a great experience. I will be back. The drink was good. It was strong, too. Yeah, that was good. That was really good, too. But yeah, it's 10 out of 10 for me, baby. That's why I like going out with people who like different types of food. Because, baby, I'm going to eat all types of stuff. You hear me? I'm ready to go get in bed. I have a wine at home. I'm like, drink it to the wine. Watch TV. Ooh, I need that. Hey y'all, y'all, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I kind of got overwhelmed with blogging because I didn't have a way to edit my videos. I told y'all that I was bumming off my sister laptop and I just got tired of having to run over there every other day when I need to edit a vlog. And y'all know she's an active YouTube vlogger. She drops three videos a week. So baby, the timeline just wasn't adding up. So I kind of got frustrated and then I just had so much going on. I was so busy and like I would start a vlog. I would not finish it and I would want to throw the content away. So y'all, I got probably like two vlogs that still need to be edited and still need to go up well by the time y'all see this one hopefully those will be up but great news i bought me a macbook today y'all know on um my last vlog i was telling y'all to pray for me that i'm able to go ahead and get my own computer because baby bumming off somebody else's computer it was just not giving but nevertheless, I finally invested in myself and got me a freaking MacBook. I know I'm looking like Big Worm right now, but I'm about to turn into <laughs> that girl. I'm about to do my makeup and I'm about to do my hair. And um, while I'm doing that, uh, well, I'm going to take my hair down. But while I'm doing that, I'm about to tell y'all what I got going on in this vlog. I'm so excited. This weekend is about to be so eventful. So yeah, give me just a sec. I'm about to run and go get some real quick. And then I'm about to tell y'all what's going on. All right, y'all, I'm back. <clears throat> I have to go. Bro, these folks upstairs finna piss me off. They must have heard me because they stopped running. But, okay, y'all, so this weekend is a very, very special weekend because, number one, it's my baby's first baseball game of 2024 spring season. Number two, it's my second baby's MJ. It's his 12th birthday tomorrow. And just to give y'all a little backstory, y'all know I'm a teen mom. I had my son in the eighth grade. But what y'all don't know is that he has a brother that's the same age as him that a month, they're a month apart. So yeah, baby, do the math because the math wasn't mathing for me at the time. But nevertheless, I am thankful for my baby. I'm thankful for MJ. And, you know, I feel like everything turned out how it was supposed to turn out. So just to put y'all in my business a little bit. um, Yeah, it was very ghetto. My baby daddy, uh, you know, he had me and MJ's mom pregnant at the same time. I was in middle school, he was in middle school, but she was in high school at the time. So it was real easy for him to sneak and geek. Let's just put that there. But I'm just thankful that we are able to, you know, come together for the kids. We all have a really great relationship. Me and her, we never really just hated each other or disliked each other. We always had this understanding that it's our baby daddy. It ain't us. He the one that's sneaking and geeking and lying and trying. You know, no shade to you, baby daddy, but you know what you was doing. You know exactly what you was doing. So, all his sneaking and geeking and lying and trying resulted into him having two kids at the same time, two baby mamas at the same time, a month apart. But like I said, I love the kids. I love MJ. I love his mom. Me and her, we have a great relationship. And I would not change a thing. You know, I would not change a thing. I ain't gonna lie. But we have some really great things planned for the kids this weekend. I can't wait. 
Tonight we're gonna go to I Compete in Louisville. It's like a virtual gaming um place. So we're taking them there. Then after Kaylon's game tomorrow, we're gonna go to brunch. And then we're going to go to Boulder Adventure Park that evening. And then me and her, baby, we gonna go out and hit these streets and have some well-needed grown folks slash mommy time. So that's what we got going on this weekend. I'm doing my makeup and getting ready now because I'm actually going to go pick them up from the airport at 6. That's what time their flight lands. And I'm excited. It was supposed to be a surprise for Kaylon that his brother was coming down here. But Kaylon ruined it because I asked her, you know, was she going to come along with us to whatever we had planned for MJ's birthday. And I guess she ended up mentioning it to Kaylon, but... So, it's no longer a surprise. Kaylon, he don't know the exact activities, but he do know his brother is coming down here now, which we was trying to keep a secret, but whatever. With these kids, nothing is ever a freaking secret. So, oh well. But yeah, y'all, I'm about to finish doing my makeup. I normally would sit here and talk to y'all while I do my makeup, but I really need to focus and get this done so I can get out the house in time enough to go pick them up so once i'm done with my makeup and done putting on my clothes i'll show y'all what i'm looking like and i'm gonna get out this house honey so yeah i'm gonna fool with y'all later and see y'all when i get ready y'all know me i am always late and ain't never on time but the outfit is giving what it's supposed to give my skirt is too big because I done lost a little weight, but get into get into the color schemes. <sighs> I can't find my new gloss, so I'm pissed off about that. And I really, I really riding my hair way too tight. I'm looking like Diana Ross and I'm pissed off, but whatever. I gotta get to this airport because they landed at 6.15. It's currently 6.12. And I'm just now about to leave the house. Like I'm trying to find my lip gloss at the very last minute, y'all. <sighs> I'm stressed out and I'm hungry. I want to go to the liquor store and get some liquor. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't drunk in a minute, but that's how I'm feeling. But all right, y'all, let me get out this house. Whew! And I'm gonna check in with y'all once we get everybody together and get every. Oh, found my lip gloss in the couch. All right, y'all, bye. Y'all, this gotta be the worst ride set. Is I mean, the curls are cute, don't get me wrong. You but pull how them apart? I did, I pulled them apart times three, and like they just so tight. And they about to get calmed out. I'm about to be walking around with a fro. It's not that bad, but it's not how I normally do Try my freaking hair. I am, I can't see you. Yeah, look at my sister. <laughs> She think this she, she funny. Alright y'all, so I'm finally on the road. Had to stop and get gas. Now I'm headed to the airport. I am currently like 18 minutes away. Um, but luckily, um, their dad was there to meet them at the airport. <laughs> I need to start looking at this instead of that. <sighs> Haven't got that down pack yet. But y'all, I am about to comb. When I tell you I'm finna comb through these curls, that's one thing about it, baby. I'm I'm 25. I ain't trying to look 52. And these curls is giving very much 52. And I'm pissed off because I spent my hard earned time sat on the dryer and left for me in all day. Just want them to come out like this. Uh-uh, we not doing this. As soon as I get to my sister's house to pick up Kaylon, I'm telling my niece to bring me a comb because I'm finna comb these curls out. Cause no ma'am. But y'all traffic is dumb. Traffic is stupid. Did not expect this, but you always gotta expect the unexpected in Texas, okay? <laughs> hey y'all, so look, we didn't gather the kids up, we didn't went to the liquor store. We're gonna take us a shot before we go into I compete. And we're gonna have fun. I've never been to I compete. <clears throat> So it should be a good experience. What time it is? Oh, 7.54. Our reservation is 8, so we right on time. 
Okay, we finna take a shot. Get in the car. What do you think No, get in the car. Yeah. Oh, you gotta go in the car. I need to hear what you got. <laughs> Damn, I don't think I should get in the car. We made it, y'all. Say hey, Katie Poo. Let me see the drip. We matching. We matching. We twinning. Everybody's here. They got a boys. They daddy, Marissa. And it's super nice in here. Look at the boys. Y'all boy, ugly. But stop hating. Ain't nobody hating on you, man. Wait. Your brother. Huh? Don't, don't, don't get careful, shot man. Okay. He could, he hit my finger. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You ready for your birthday? Ooh. You ready for your birthday? Look at that boy head. Oh that boy poor head, big as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, look at Kayla. Say hey, Kayla. Say hey to my vlog. Say what's up. That's what I'm looking for. What are you saying? What did you just say? Kayla, I'm gonna whoop your tail for real. <laughs> Hey okay. okay. guys, Carly and Nicole is here. Peace, y'all. You on YouTube? You on YouTube tonight? You got the camera? You be on that record video? No. Why? I know where you do. Where you can make money off YouTube? I'm gonna edit. Okay, come on. Should have went and picked it up. Oh, God. I ain't hear oh, shit. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. You hit more than I did. What you hit? I hit outside the glass. Oh, shit. Come on, did you see how she told you to do it? Did you see how she told you to do it? I ain't do it. shit. <laughs> Come on, you go. Okay. Well, I gotta go pick that up. Girl, oh yeah, oh damn, I should've went and picked it up. Oh, God. I ain't hear oh, shit, God. that's crazy. <laughs> okay. You hit more than I did, what you hit? I hit outside the line. Oh, shit. Come on, Come on man, go miss. Nothing. 
You better do that at that game tomorrow. Give, give me my money worth. Baseball is not my support. Yeah, he needs to. Get my goddamn uh, $1,700 worth. Come on, man. It's my gun. I'm Man, no, let MJ get his turn. You gonna hit enough balls tomorrow. He wanna take everybody's turn. Come on, MJ. Let me see you hit nothing. <laughs> what sports you wanna play, Ren? You wanna play basketball, football, or baseball? Oh, you was you, close Yeah, to you are my head. Pull up, bro. You yeah, you too far. You could have hit it if you oh, scoot it up. Scoot up. No, like up for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you you hit a little single, a little single. That's foul ball, man. No. Oh. You see that thing say foul, man. I did not see. I didn't see the words on there. No, I'm blind. Come on, come on, MJ. I didn't even see the words on mine. Oh, oh. right now. They handed me, 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 they He's a real thing. I don't rules and they doing their own thing. Y'all just in here doing whatever. Y'all ain't following the rules or nothing. Ain't nobody got their name on the board. Y'all just doing what y'all want to do. Junior the quarterback. No. Baby. Yeah. Ren, what position you play? Uh, okay, what position you playing? Um, you sure later? Yeah. Ah. Watch it. I don't think this is how y'all play this game. Kate doing cartwheels. No. <laughs> doing football. Boy, you can take the kids out the ghetto, but not the ghetto out the kids. Ah. Not MJ most on you, Kaylon. Uh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, barefoot, bro. <laughs> Golly, you ain't getting nowhere. <laughs> No shoes. Long foot. Damn. How many? more yards than you. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. So I just made it home. It is currently 11:35. I compete was a good experience. I thought it was going to be real packed because on TikTok, when I first looked it up, it just looked real, real packed. So I thought that's what it was going to be, but it was actually really dead in there, which was great because we had a big party and, but we was able to do everything we wanted to do. We didn't have to wait on nothing. The kids enjoyed themselves. All the kids are with their father. And baby, me and Deja, we at the crib. We gonna drink us some wine or maybe take us some more shots. Who knows? And I'm about to watch a little TV before bed. And then Kaylin got a, y'all, why I thought my baby only had one game tomorrow. He told his daddy he got two games, one at 8 a.m. and one at 9 45. How tired I am, I ain't gonna cap to you. I don't know if I'm gonna make that, 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 that 8 a.m. one. 
don't know. But I also don't want to miss my baby first game. So depending on what time I get up, I might be there. But I didn't have a long day. I'm glad my boys had fun. I'm glad that we was all able to come together and just celebrate and just be a family for real. Like, it really feels good. The growth feels amazing. I never thought I'd see the day where we all together together celebrating our kids. So, thank you, God, for growth and prosperity. But you're good time. I'm going to take these lashes off. I'll put them back on in the morning. And that's just going to be what this going to be. So, I'll see y'all in the morning for the game and for brunch and for all the other activities. Good morning, y'all. So, it's the next day. I've been rushing all morning trying to get Kayla everything he needs for his game. We're finally here at the game. Um, and they playing already and he didn't run, he didn't score, he, he scored a run already. But I'm going to make sure I get some footage of the game so y'all can see my baby do his big one, okay? Alright, so I'm about to go sit back down after the game. He got two games after the game, we're going to brunch. We're just going to have a good day today. There we go. Y'all, the sun came out finally because it's been cold. <clears throat> Kaylon, they won the first game. It was four to two. Kaylon, tell me what's up. What you do? Hold on, hold on, hold on. My camera, we gotta get together. What you do, boo? I'm kidding. I call. I call. Uh, I mean, what you do? Hold on, hold on. Come here, my baby. what's up, man? What's up, man? You still ready to go? <laughs> So y'all, the game has been pretty competitive so far today. But baby, I'm hungry. I'm gonna go. We're supposed to be going to my old job, looking at the table, and go to brunch. I can't wait because I haven't seen my people in another meeting. You know, regardless of whatever, whatever. I'm gonna put it to work. So I can't wait. I'm ready to go eat. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Guys, we made it. Look at Kayla. 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 Look at Kayla.
Well, I'm gonna just leave me up. You want to taste the taste? Because I know you want to eat the food. It looks good, too. It's so fun. Why? Why? I ain't gonna be able to eat it. Alright, y'all. We just left um, local tap. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 because today because y'all know I used to work there so I know what the potential could be but we have to wait huh? I'll see what I can do but I know what the potential can be but number one we had to wait almost an hour for our food the appetizers were amazing when the food came out my, our food was cold the portion size was not good it wasn't the regular plate that we normally get and yeah we it was just too much and then y'all donate our parents will have to pay the full balance of the trip on March 25th. Okay. And you can't say no because you're on the camera. I can't you know, say no. Ah. Uh, Thank no, you. Like, That's bad no, it ain't. I'm not going in the store with her no more because I didn't even come in here for me. We came in here for Deja. And look at all this stuff my mama didn't, didn't pick me out. We came in here for what? For my month. For you. <laughs> and my mama picked me out all this stuff that I got to pay for. Ain't that some bull crap? That's what she kept saying. Look, y'all like it? Look, look at this. <laughs> so, after we came from Ross, which I got this little cute shirt from, got my little Shein cargo jeans on and some dunks. Can't see the dunks, but you'll see it later. After we came from Ross, we came home, sat on the couch for a split second, and we got to get right back up. Your girl is tired, but I'm going to boot up real quick. Y'all know I don't drink like that no more, but... This weekend, we bought us some tequila because we knew we was going to have to be rocking and rolling and rolling and rocking. So, baby, I'm going to pour us a shot before we go. And, yeah, I'm going to pour us a shot so I can get rejuvenated. And we're going to go to Boulder Adventure Park in Grand Prairie. It's an indoor adventure, climbing ropes, all that good shit. So, this is going to be our final hooray until tomorrow. Tomorrow, we got Kayla and last game. And then everybody is heading out for the weekend. So, we're going to take the shot. Deja, come bring your ass so we can take the shot. And we're going to get out the house. So, yeah. All right. Cheers. Cheers, cheers to the fucking weekend. weekend. <laughs> oh. Hold on, one more time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm my chaser. All right, y'all. So we made it to Boulder Adventure Park. Finally, we finna see what's going on up in here. <sighs> I'm finna act like a big ass kid. Girl, look at this little ass line. Girl, girl, I just, girl. The kids is on training with you. This fake ass ice. Hey, where you at? You scared? Go ahead. <laughs> look at Kayla.
stuff happy I just can't even keep up so after we left Boulder Adventure Park <clears throat> y'all I had to end up going to go get my daddy because him and his friend got in a head-on collision accident somebody drunk driving and they rolled down the street and hit them head-on so I had to go get them then we came all the way back to Grand Prairie we went to this little hole in a while but we didn't stay long because the drinks was not drinking and <clears throat> people was in there blowing cigarette smoke on us and we we went we mean like that so we ended up going to this lounge called temptation in arlington <clears throat> but my voice gone that's how you know i had a good night but we ended up going to this lounge called temptation in arlington and we had a blast we went up we had shots we had too many shots my head hurt Came on, got an 8 a.m. game. I'm finna make a smoothie and try to put something on my stomach because last night was wild. Like, whew, it was wild. We're gonna have story time later. But just know last night was wild. So I'm gonna just give me a smoothie together and I'm gonna get back with y'all when I get to the game, okay? All right. Talk to y'all when I talk to y'all. All right. I'm doing pineapple and strawberry smoothie. Vanilla, almond milk. <clears throat> I got some new plant based protein. I'm gonna put that in, mix that thing on up. And I mean, that's gonna get better on that. <laughs> Y'all, I beg for this blender, and I swear to God, I don't even like using it because it's so hard to freaking clean out. Like, look how I mean, this one. y'all so we have made it to the airport to drop mj and deja off 
It has been a very eventful and long weekend. I had a blast. I'm tired. You had fun, Pooh? Mm-hmm. He didn't have four games in two days. I'm tired. And this is just the beginning of the season. We got so much more to go. But I'm going to go home. I'm going to... Turn it off. I'm going to go... Drop his ass off. For he pissed me off. I'm going to go drop him off in it, uh, urban air. He, you would think he's tired and ready to go to bed, but he said I want to do stuff, do stuff, do stuff. So I'm going to drop him off, and he's just going to have to figure out what he's going to do after that. Because once I go home and be in that bed, she ain't going no It's a wrap. You're, I'm not coming to get you. I'm not picking you up from nowhere. I don't care if you got to walk down Highway 80, whatever it is. So, yeah, y'all, I'm tired. Your girl is out of here, okay? I might as well. I'm going to end out the vlog when I get home because I don't think I'm doing anything else for the day. So, I'll talk to y'all later.